today i am going to listen you to uh, how to find a factorial so first of all uh, now we know that uh, n factorial that means uh, example 4 factorial that means that, that is consist of 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 or uh, 5 factorial that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 that means factorial of uh, numbers is uh, multiplication of uh, start 1 to this number example 6 factorial that is uh, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 the multiplication of 6 uh, numbers uh, that equals to 6 factorial uh, this is that that is the basic of factorial so how we uh, get uh, by flowchart let's say example uh, uh, we get uh, we uh, we put a uh, n uh, value that equals to 5 uh, so n fac uh, 5 factorial uh, that means uh, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 that equals to 120 so how we get 120 by flowchart of this factorial let's start Firstly, in flowchart, we start from a start a step, then we go to input n. Uh, input n, n number uh, equals to 5 because we put 5 factorial result gate. So that's why we input n equals to 5. So initially, uh, 5 factorial is multiplication of 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 4 into 5, that equals to 120. So initially we put uh, f equals to 1 and c equals to 1 then we go to the next step f equals to f into c initially f equals to 1 and c equals to 1 so f into c first step then f equal to c that is 1 into 1 that means f equals to 1 then we increment c c plus 1 then initially c equals to 1 to so c plus 1 that equals to c equals to 2 so uh, we input in uh, equals to 5 that means c c equals to 2 uh, now we make decision if the statement is right then we go yes and print f if the uh, decision is wrong then we go no and we reconnect the system so uh, c value is 2 and n value is 5 so the statement is wrong to to never get bigger than 5 so uh, the uh, system will repeat again so here is c equals to 2 and f equals to 1 uh, the statement is going wrong the, uh, then we go to the repeat uh, uh, step 4 uh, in this time f equals to 1 and c equals to 2 so f into c now new f value equals to 2 because f into c 1 into 2 equals to 2 new value f equals to 2 and new value c equals to 2 plus 1 because in, uh, the past value c equals to 2 now increment plus 1 that means c equals to 3 so 3 in the same statement n that also may prove wrong and that is repeat again now f value is 2 and c value is 3 the 2 into 3 now f value is 6 because 2 is, is the past value of f and 3 is the new value then 3 goes the decision and it may prove, may prove wrong and go to the reconnect joint by step 4 and 2 into 3 equals to 6 and c equals to c's past value is 3 now c's value is c 3 plus 1 that equals to c equals to 4 at the same way 4 is not uh, connect uh, not proof right then again that is uh, repeat so f now value is 6 6 into 4 that is f new value equals 6 into 4 that is equals 24 24 amongst, uh, and and c value uh, is a uh, c um, 4 increment by plus 1 c new value is equals to 5 new value equals to 5 5 also not greater than 5 that means this it may the decision is not right then it repeat again so if past value equals to 24 
now c value is into into by f into c 24 into 5 that means f new value 24 into 5 equals to 120 120 and now c value equals to c past value is 5 now it is increment by 1 now c value equals to 6 now we put that 6 greater than 5 that is true true statement so we go yes and print f so now print f and f value f value is 120 120 and we get 120 that equals to 5 factorial i think you can understand uh, how we uh, get uh, factorial by flowchart we input n numbers 5 factorial 5 and we get 120 by the help of flowchart uh, if we, if uh, we change our n value 6 factorial the loop will uh, go uh, repeat uh, 6 times then 7 times it will print f and we will get the desired value uh, thank you very much uh, uh, this is a very simple lesson of factorial by help of flowchart if you get uh, if you um, understand the flowchart you will get, uh, make it uh, c programming with the help of flowchart so it is very neat to know how to get factorial by flowchart thank you very much